Welcome back to Sunshine's Crazy Dream. Today I am going to attempt to reroute a junk doll I've never rerouted before, so this will be a learning curve. Okay, so I picked up this doll. I'm not sure. She is probably 18 inches long. She's a lightweight, like a grocery store style doll. She has underwear. Her hair is coming out. And I have a big old wad of it here. And I'm going to attempt, I may have to cut some off, because I don't have any hair that I can find in my little doll box that is similar to this hair. So I have a rerouting tool. This was by, I don't know if they're even still uh, around, Bountiful Baby. Oh, oh there. Uh, Bountiful Baby. I have no idea um, if they are even around anymore. I'm going to attempt to reroute some of the hair that she's lost. And honestly, I have no idea how this is going to work. Because um, I've never done this. I've never used uh, this this tip uh, for rerouting. It's, oh, let me see if I can get it closer. Uh, you can't really see it. It's shaped more like a little two-pronged fork. And I've never used one like it. And I've never done anything like this. So first, I'm going to want to see if I can get her head off. Alright. She's got the basic old junk store ball style. Alright. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate the hairs like that. And I'm going to attempt to start rerouting it over here on her hairline. And I think I'm going to need a lot less in one little... I hope I bought the right size of the little fork thingy. I don't know. Since I've never done this, but I had a couple dolls that their hair needs removed or redone. I thought, well, why not? We'll just try it. And there might be a trick to it. I don't know. Let's see. This is actually kind of big for the holes. The other one I have is a <coughs> rerouting tool for, um, like, it's not a rerouting tool. It's like a baby. Baby uh, Reborn, that's the word, Reborn tool. Um, in fact, this uh, handle I'm using is a Reborn tool because I needed something that wouldn't kill my hands and most of the rerouting tools I could find easily were just a simple tool that would uh, cause a lot of stress on my hand, but this has that nice round knob. Now, if this doesn't come out looking gorgeous, it doesn't matter. She's a little junk doll. I'm just experimenting on her. Uh, trying to give her a new life, you know. Um, It's not as thick and as luxurious, I'm sure, as what it was originally. Um, I'm, not, I'm hoping I have enough hair to make it look good, and then I'll give her a style so she won't undo. I love curly-haired dolls, though. And when I saw her, I was like, you have to come home with me, honey. So she came home with me. Found her at a thrift store for 50 cents. Don't know what she is, but she's just so cute. Okay. Keeps 
good enough to me so I can see and then you can't see. Alright. Ah! So I'm just lining it up above the hole. And pushing it in. Now when I get done, I'm going to have to put a lot of glue in here to hold the, her hair in. Because the rest of it is trying to fall out also. So I think she needs goobsy gobsies of glue. I'm hoping I have enough hair and I don't have to steal it from one section for another section. But see, this isn't even attached, see? And I'm afraid I'm going to get all this work into it and it's just going to be really bad. And then she's going to have to drive for several, several days, so this will not have her finished on the video. She's a nice size, though, um, for a Barbie-style doll, so I think she'll be a real fun one to make a dress for. need to find some inexpensive doll stands. I have way too many dolls and no stands to hang them on, or set them on, so... I've decided I needed to buy some stands. Ah. Okay, so it's getting hard to see the bald spots now, which is good. As I am filling it in. So she doesn't appear to be... Oh, oh did that even go... Yeah, it went in. Alright. But see, she's going to be much prettier now. She's got uh, hair. <laughs> so, oh, she is a pretty one. Okay, so I'm going to keep going with little bitty strands of the curly hair. After I glue the doll, it'll be several days before I can check, but as bad as her hair loss is, I'm going to put this stuff in, then I'm going to glue wait for the glue to dry and then I will kind of mess with her hair and see if any big chunks fall out that need redone again and I'll do a second round if necessary because she is half her hair is just falling out but I think I got most of it off just by messing with it Let's see I got lots of bald spots in the back here A lot of fun to style clothes for. I absolutely love making doll clothes. I'm trying to get me a topper don for my dollhouse that I had as a child, which I'm getting ready to do. And since it was made for me in the late 70s, early 80s, I've decided it's a 1978 period house. And it's going to be really cute. I think it's going to be a stucco. Because my grandmother had a stucco house. And I always thought stucco houses were pretty. See, there's no hair here. And I'm going to add hair in here. Because it's just so thin. I mean, you won't be able to really tell with as much hair as she has. But... Add more over here. And her bald patch will slowly be filling in. I need to start working on the little dolls that I want to donate to children. In America, though, it's like they really don't need dolls. It's you, they, Kids have so many of them nowadays. But I was thinking about maybe sending them overseas. But if I do that, I 
I'm thinking I should probably be sending okay all right hold on the part does not look good I'm not real good with parts bunch of glue, gobber it up in her, and let it cure, and then we will see where we go from there. So I'm done, I guess, for today. Okay, so that's it for this week. I'm so glad you came to join me for this. Um, hopefully with the glue, she'll set up nicely, and we can um, start on giving her some style and stuff. So, we'll see you next week. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day, and like and subscribe.